Hey guys, Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine, TV Insider. I'm here with Melissa Rauch and John Larroquette from Night Court, which has been back. Um, I, I, of course, I'm so happy about it. It's on the cover of our magazine. Call the next case. Uh, I can't seem to find the paperwork, Your Honor. This is a scary one, Your Honor, even for a blood moon. All right, what is it, a zombie, a swamp monster? Worse, it's a bomb! <laughs> Now there's two of them. You've talked about working with John, but I want to hear it one more time. Just watching John work and some of that comedy that just seems to flow out of him. Oh, goodness. Well, thank you for asking me about it because I could talk about it all day long. Um, it's just, it's a dream. It's such a dream come true. And he's as every bit as wonderful. And this is talking as a fan who is so excited to get the chance to, to work with him. Um, he's every bit as wonderful as a person as he is an actor. And getting to do these scenes with him is just, it's a dream come true. They, they say that you're only as good as the person you're working with. And I feel so lucky that I get to do this alongside Mr. Mr. John Larroquette. John, how, how do you feel hearing those words? Um, um, yeah, well, I'm, I, there's a little sweat in my shoes. But other than that, I, I, I feel pretty good. And, you know, the, and I, it's reciprocal because one of the main reasons I decided to do this was because of her. Probably the main reason, the only reason I decided to do this, because I was reluctant to venture into a character that I had played three decades ago just because of you know the young, handsome, gorgeous man I was then. Um, and, and still are. And the sort of Wilfred <laughs> exactly. Brimley look-alike that I am now. Um, and, but the idea of working with her, knowing that, you know, and I said this earlier today, and it's true, though, sitcom acting is a different kind of muscle that you really have to be very good at in order to work in front of an audience, to listen to the timing, to know when to lay the joke down, when to move on from mm -hmm. it, et cetera. And she's an expert at that, and so I knew that after the pandemic, not being in front of an audience, and most of my career has been in front of an audience. You know, when you think of Night Court, the John LaRoquette show, Happy Family, on and on, mm -hmm. always in front of an audience. And the idea of us being in front of an audience and being able to play off each other was too tempting to pass up. Yeah. I sat in the audience for uh, one of the episodes I came to your taping, and it was it was really fun for me because I hadn't sat in an audience for a while. So it was great to do it for this one. I want to ask about um, the world opens up a little bit. We meet Abby's mother in an upcoming episode. Um, Talk about casting first Faith Ford, who, of course, we all know from Murphy Brown and a lot of other things, but can you talk about bringing her on as Abby's mother? Absolutely. Um, I'm such a fan of Faith's. Um, I loved her on Murphy Brown. And just talking about who would capture the... Um, who Abby, you know, and in, in talking about who Abby is and where Abby's capturing the essence of Harry and who else could she potentially capture the essence of. And um, and Faith's name came up and we were all really, really excited about that idea. Um, and then we were just so lucky to have her on set. She's such a joy to work with and um, just such a lovely, lovely person. And um, we've stayed in touch and she's just so kind and we just had a wonderful time working together. Yeah, right away I was like, she needs to come back. Uh -huh. She's very funny. She's very good. And Faith and I had worked together before. I had done an episode, because Kansas Bergen is a friend, so I did an episode of the reboot of, of Murphy, but also long before that, she and I did a, um, a, a movie together, or well, together, um, uh, just a terrible movie called Beethoven's Fifth, that whole run of, of, of St. Bernard saving the day. Uh, and she and I were in one of them, me playing the bad guy and her playing the sheriff or something. But she's great. She's, and also, we're both Louisianians. She still lives down there, and I'm from New Orleans, so we have a lot in common. Okay. Her timing is just impeccable, and just there's a wonderful scene with the two of them in the the hallway at the courthouse, and just it's so it's just wonderful. It's she, wonderful. she waves her finger in his face at mm -hmm. one point. That exactly. made me laugh out loud. It's so it good. I I remember being behind the monitor watching that, being so excited about it. It's it hilarious. Very very funny. You guys make sure to watch Night Court every Tuesday on NBC. Melissa and John, thanks for being here. Thank Pleasure. you so much. Thank so you. good talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.